So, what do we have here? Very cool. Ooh. Oh, gin. What does it say? Atlas 2. So we're at Bo Peep today and we've had uh, a very light wind day with just really thermals coming through. My first launch this morning was very easy. The glider was just looking after me. I didn't really have to think too much about the glider and how it was coming up. I just sort of realised it was sort of above my head before I'd realised and it was all taking care of itself. And felt very comfortable with that, with the launch and how the glider came up very comfortable, reassuring, but also very fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun today thermaling it. I'm actually, we, we did quite a bit of thermaling around together, mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. actually all three of us, uh, which was lovely. So, and I was finding Great. that mm -hmm. I could, the, the wing wanted to turn and get into its thermal really nicely, but also there was a point where I could apply more brake and the glider would then just kick in to a little sweet spot which was just oh well, I'm now on rails going round and it was just that was really fun mm -hmm. so it had a lovely feeling so I, I felt like I was thermaling climbing very nicely we weren't going up that quick but I felt like it was just nice and easy so and yeah I had some other pilots we were flying with so there was a little bit of wake from time to time and um I, I wasn't really feeling that and I wasn't mm -hmm. feeling any turbulence and the, the glider was uh, smoothing things out from that point of view but also the wing was talking to me so I felt like mm -hmm. I could see what was, you know, feel what was going on and I could feel the air it's a very happy wing mm -hmm. <laughs> and how did you feel when we were thermaling round together? Yeah so it feels yeah, very reassuring um, and uh, quite agile for, for the class Yeah, agile, but yeah. very but not sort of too agile, not too nervous and jumpy, um, very calm and reassuring, I found it. Mm -hmm. um, but as you say, not such that you can't hang it, hook it around. And we had very small little bitty kind of thermals today. Um, so you needed to actually turn quite precisely in places. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you say, I was able to, I was flying the medium size. Oh, yeah. So Nancy was flying the small, but well, you're about what? Two thirds, three quarters of the way up yes. the right range. Yep. I'm probably about halfway up the weight range on the medium uh, today. And uh, yeah, it feels, you know, as you say, reassuring, but uh, fun. Yes. So how did you find it on the ground when you were launching and playing around on the ground? Um, I just looked and there it was on the ground. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't need to ask that question again. <laughs> no. <laughs> so on the ground, um, see, I think for that for that level of glider, it's really I think how it ground handles and how it launches is really important. Um, so it needs to be very easy and uh, well balanced, and I definitely found that. Uh, it felt very sorted actually. It doesn't didn't have a tendency to kind of drop back all the time, but also it doesn't have a tendency to come up and whip up. So it's quite great. easy to manage to, to kind of pull it up at a nice controlled speed. And then if you let go a little bit early, it wouldn't just ugh, drop back again. It would just kind of, oh, okay, I'm coming up slowly now. Mm. But if you wanted to come up quicker, you just give a bit more input. So did you find Actually, the same? I did, and I completely agree with that. And the, mm. um, there was a couple of points where I was just 
coming back down because the wind was a little bit lighter but I was able just to lift it back up again it wanted to fly but it wasn't wasn't pulling me around which is also nice sometimes you yeah. get that too much pull and you're sort of being felt like you're being dragged across the round, ground when the wind comes through but it was um, yeah it wasn't pulling me but it was wanting to come up nicely and sit in place and yeah it was wanting to take me flying finding when I was kiting it up if you have a glider that keeps wanting to either drop back or pull up it makes kiting much harder because you can't just put the glider where you want and it stays there and then pulls you nicely up the hill and you kite with it yeah, and with the Atlas too, I was finding that very easy. I could put the glider at a certain angle. And by keeping, obviously I needed to keep the right pressure and the right movement with it. But by doing that, it would it tended to want to stay where you put it. How do you feel it compares to the, the Atlas One? Because I found on the Atlas One that it sort of auto-launched. It wanted to come up too too easily. Yeah. yeah so I think the Atlas Two has a, has a bit of that tendency that you need to hold it back but it's definitely easier to manage, I found, than the Atlas I. Um, the Atlas I, you had to really, it was quite physical, um, and you needed to hold on the rear risers, really, if there's a strong wind. If you just tried holding the brakes, it would just come up, and you, you could take as many wraps as you wanted. In a strong wind, you couldn't really hold it. You had to hold the rear risers, and it was physical. The characteristic between the Atlas I and II, that the Atlas II seems more reassuring and less demanding, but at the same time, it seems like it's a bit more agile. Yeah. Um, so mm. that's very good. Mm. That's exactly the right sort of things that you want. Yeah. And it's easier on the ground, um, and just generally easier to fly. Very sorted, the right level for its class. Yeah. Seemed to glide well and have good speed, but sync rate-wise, it was, it was, you know, right average for its class, but it didn't stand out to me. Yeah, I was I was noticing that I felt like the trim speed was uh. was quite good for its class. It wasn't slow yeah. when I was flying with other gliders. Well, that, you know, that was pushing into wind as well. In it's only on a day like today where it was very light and scratchy, and the difference in sync rate was noticeable. We noticed today the high performance gliders, you could see the difference in performance in them much more on a day like today than yeah. a than a, a lifty day, mm. because you had the, you had little bubbles and then you have to glide away to get the next and the climbs are very very weak i mean even i was thinking this is quite steady <laughs> <laughs> even i was thinking even, that yeah. <laughs> so um so on a day like today it stands out but i think on a day when there's better thermals and that you're not going to notice it really so much um uh, and then what you'll notice is that the really nice handling and the fact that it you can core it nicely and you can turn in the in the cores really nicely yeah. and if you're flying in a bit stronger conditions like with a bit more wind then it's going to be good in that. So I think that's going to be at forte, is a little bit stronger conditions. Yeah. Rather than the really light, like the mincy conditions. It's not a mincing, it's not a mincer, <laughs> it's a Cora. <laughs> So I'd be recommending this glider to possibly a talented beginner. So it could be a first wing, as we would put it as a progression paraglider. So somebody who's got some good air time on their, on their A and is looking to progress on to a nice safe B. Yeah, so I think yeah, the Atlas II is yeah, for the ambitious beginner, the ideal for that. that um, and because it's very well balanced and well behaved. So yeah, I think that it's great for that. And as a second or even a third glider, if pilots are looking for something that's more reassuring and they don't want their glider moving around too much, but still want, uh, they enjoy nice handling, yeah. then, then it's ideally suited for them. Yeah. Dune, Dune Atlas 2, in summary, is fun. Love it. <laughs> yeah, and it's a very safe, sorted glider. Cool. Thanks very much, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye. For more information and our full written review, check out our website. It's almost impossible to decide on a wing just based on reviews and information you can get online. So if you're looking at getting a new wing, 
consider taking out our wing match service where we'll help you find the best wing for you. What else would you like to know about the Gin Atlas 2? What should we review next? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe, share and like and hit that little bell notification so that YouTube lets you know when the new videos are out.